Hey everyone, this is Dan from Hemp in a Pot, and today I'll be taking you through a build guide for AC Infinity's all-in-one plant kit. AC Infinity's plant kit is the most advanced all-in-one grow tent system on the market. It includes all the tools to start growing indoors right away. First, let's take everything out of the box. Nice. And everything is conveniently labeled in alphabetical order. So I'm assuming we'll be starting with A and go all the way up to I. Oh wait, I guess we're jumping around. But at least we're starting with box A which is the Cloud Lab Advanced Grow Tent. And I'm building the two plant kit today. So it comes with a two by four by six feet grow tent. Putting this together is a snap and can be done with one person by first building the bottom frame, then the top frame, put them together, Unzip the Mylar grow tent walls, hook in the bottom corners, hook in the top corners, and zip it all up. Now it's time to add the hanging bars. And always start with the highest bar first, which has the shorter hook, before adding on the two lower bars. This allows the top bar to handle significantly more weight since it's supported by the lower bars. So be sure to always hang the heaviest equipment on this top bar. Add in the floor catch tray by wrapping the Velcro strap around the four corner bars. And finally, install the steel controller plate to the exterior of the tent by hooking the grooves into the open slots. Now it's time to install the Cloudline light inline fan. Most commonly, this is hung at the top of the grow tent to exhaust the grow space air outside, along with any heat produced by the grow light. And this in turn passively draws in fresh cool air from the intake vents at the bottom of the tent. The inline fan comes with a universal infinity system cable attached to it that allows it to be controlled by the controller 69. To get the inline fan in position, pass the included strap through the mounting bracket of the inline fan before locking it in with the strap adjuster. Adjust the length of the strap until the inline fan is at the desired height. And then to balance out the weight of the inline fan, install the second strap at the other end of the mounting bracket. To guide the exhausted air, pass one side of the ducting through the vent port and connect the other side to the inline fan with the included ducting clamp. Tighten the clamps in place with a Phillips screwdriver. The inline fan can also be placed outside of the tent if there's limited space in the tent, utilizing the included ducting to draw out the air from the grow tent. Optionally, a carbon filter can be added to the other end of the inline fan. This is used to scrub any odors from the grow space before it exits the tent and is able to do so for 6 to 24 months based on how often it's used before it needs to be replaced. To extend the life of the carbon filter, wrap on the pre-filter which will capture any large dust particles and two are included so when dust builds up on one, you can replace it with the other washing the first one so that it's good to go again once the second one gets dirty. Just like with the inline fan, the carbon filter is held on with the straps and strap adjuster. Just make two loops around the same height as the inline fan, and then slide the carbon filter into place. Adjust the straps as needed so that the carbon filter opening fits over the inline fan opening and then use the included ducting tape to lock it in place and to seal any air leaks. 
the IonBoard LED Grow Light is specifically designed to pair with its Grow Tent counterpart, providing even lighting to support all stages of a plant's development. It comes with a universal infinity system pass-through cable, which allows for the light to be automatically controlled via the controller 69. So be sure to plug this in before installation and to switch the dimmer knob to the UIS position. The grow light comes with two rope hangers to adjust the height of the light to match your plant's canopy. And to install it, wrap the non-adjustable end on top of the grow temp bar before having it clamp onto itself to lock the rope in place. Adjust the other end of the rope hanger so that it reaches the floor of the tent by pressing down on the release trigger and then pull. Once on the floor, move the grow light to the floor of the grow tent. Install the steel hangers onto the light board. Clip the rope hanger onto the steel hanger and then adjust the height of the light by pulling on the ends of the rope hanger until the light reaches your desired height. The cloud ray clip fan adds a breeze to your grow space, strengthening plant stems while deterring mold, mildew, and small insects from nesting in your tent. This comes in two pieces, and the grow tent clip will need to be attached to the fan before it can be installed. Just like the ion board, the clip fan comes with a universal infinity system pass-through cable, so be sure to plug this in before installation. Once the clip fan is built, clip it anywhere on the tent you want the breeze to start from. Note that the clip fan can be installed upside down to increase the downward angle of the fan. If you have the floor plant kit, it'll come with two clip fans. The brains of the operation, the controller 69 is able to control all of the grow tent devices, allowing for full advanced automation of the entire plant kit via the controller itself or wirelessly via Bluetooth through the AC Infinity app. Plug the environmental sensor into the controller before magnetically attaching the controller onto the grow tent plate. Slide the environmental sensor through the tent wire pass-through port so that it's inside of the tent, and then pass through the inline fan, grow light, and clip fan UIS cables through the pass-through port to the outside of the tent. Plug the inline fan UIS cable into port 1, the grow light UIS cable into port 2, the clip fan UIS cable into port 3, and if your plant kit comes with a second clip fan, plug that into port 4. Before powering everything on, use the included cable management ties to tidy up all the wires in the grow tent to your liking. Plug in all the devices, and by default, the controller 69 will have the following programming for your devices. The only thing left to do now is to adjust the clock of your controller to match your local time. Or if you decide to control the controller via the AC Infinity app, the controller's clock will automatically sync with your phone's clock once it's paired. The plant kit also comes with other accessories to help jumpstart it grow, including multiple 5 gallon fabric pots and other plant care accessories that can all be stored on the grow tent's side pouch for future use, along with a beginner's guide to growing hemp. And that's it. For more information on the individual pieces of the plant kit, you can refer to the included product manual. And for any other questions or support, please reach out to the AC Infinity's customer service team.